if I was going to date a bird, pigeons straight up. They're kind of, they're being naughty boys and girls <laughs> together, right? And then all of a sudden, I hear a gunshot. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Janet Plant, Sugar Bones, AK Confidence Man! <laughs> what a summer it's been for you guys. Oh my God. It's been You're running around, this. causing chaos everywhere you go. Yes. What's been your highlight so far? Well, it's got to be Glastonbury. Yeah. Glastonbury mm. was just absolutely wild. Yeah, that was... Mm -hmm. Bit like hectic, like, it was, you know, it was, pretty much yeah. just recovered. And have you been bumping into some fun people? <clears throat> yeah, like yeah. And stuff? Yeah, me meeting lots of party people along the way. I've been hanging out with Shy Girl a lot. Yeah, which so we have to make happen because of the, you know, the name. Shy Girl Confidence. Maybe. Yeah, that those two come married yeah. together really yeah. nicely, don't yeah. they? I've loved playing. I can't lose you on the show. I've been loving so what as well. I really love your vocal on it. Well, literally, it was just I'm gonna have, I'm gonna scream for a bit. Everyone's gonna listen and just like suck it up <laughs> yeah. you know and, and like that one's been really fun to play live because like, I get up on um, like Sugar's shoulders and then he literally just carries me around for like two and a half minutes and I'm just screaming at people and then everyone else gets up on shoulders and I'm screaming at them and yeah the crowd I loves mean it's for you like yeah, that's for you everyone loves it yeah but except for you me. there is yeah. a huge amount of choreography that goes into being in Con Man really mm. isn't there yeah did I hear something about like Beyonce's choreographer you guys had a run in with Beyonce's choreographer or something oh huh? god this What's is this? The, this is a terrible story so we decided to Last week we were like, we really want to learn how to do what, what was it called? Shuffle. Shuffle. And so like we had this like guy come in and he he was like, he's like like top hey. notch. Yeah, like, like, yeah. and he Both came in bad. and he's like, alright, like this is like what I've choreographed you guys like did it for us. And then and then we were like, okay, I was like, yeah, so just like run us through like the first part. And he's like, so it's like just like regular shuffle. And I was like, yeah, so how do you do that? And he's like, wait, y'all didn't know how to shuffle? And I was like, no, and he's like, oh damn. And we spent six hours. I remember like we were just covered in sweat. Did he's like with arms down, like pop your hands? Like, I, I just remember. Yeah. I remember him watching us do it, and he's like... And then he just left. Chugga, did I read correctly that you're obsessed with pigeons? Yeah, well, like, I really like them, but to be honest, like, Janet loves them. Yeah, oh. I, think, I think they're, like, glamorous air rats. You know, if I was going to date a bird, pigeons, straight up. New album, 3AM, la la la, come on. We're so excited for it, it's going to sound mega. And um, you just talking about writing it in these kind of like high moments of the party, and I guess that's the kind of energy we can expect from top to bottom on the record, right? Yeah. I yeah. know we've been talking about the record and how you guys stay up and party and made this amazing album and stuff, and I'm sure it's great, but like I, I am just a little bit worried for you. You need a rest, is what I'm saying. You know, if you want to perform at your peak performance, you need a rest. Yeah, well, I'm pretty hungover. I could have a nap. Definitely go for a nap. Yeah. Okay. I think I can make that happen. You guys rest down. All right. Tuck in. That's it. Get comfy. <sighs> oh, can we have the can we have the lights off? Thanks. <sighs> Get up. Let's party. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> yeah. We are in the presence of legends. Please make some noise for Dexter and Noodles from the Offspring. Please come on. Great to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming on and welcome to Gonzo. Thanks. How's Europe been? You, you're just saying you've been here for a month, that you've adjusted. Yeah. Feeling doing, good. Doing a lot of festivals, did some amazing festivals, including Download here in the UK. Yeah. It was incredible. I was so there, good. I saw the show and it was, I would describe it as ravenous. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah, they were hungry yeah. for it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was great. A little muddy, but but uh, the fans were amazing. It was it was a particularly rough one this year, but you guys don't mind a little rough and tumble in the mud, do you? No, you, you're used to it. It completes you the know. experience. Yeah, it's yeah I mean, be mud, you've been in the game long enough now that yeah. that's just part and parcel of how it yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. Does anything surprise you at this point? Ah. Uh... No. <laughs> if it were sunny and dry, that would yeah. surprise me. Yes, of you course. Know, yeah. You know, not many bands stay together for as long as you guys have managed to stay together and, and still do your things. You know, that, that must be a real testament to your friendship and your togetherness as a band as well. It's a lot of therapy. A lot of people yeah. together, right? I mean, you're cooking at the moment. I mean, Make It All Right sounds massive. It just sounded like a summery, fun song and that we should make it about something kind of fun. We usually sing about things that are not all right. Mm. And this time we tried to <laughs> flip that and, you know, sing about a relationship where things are all right. You know? It's right. funny that, isn't it? Yeah. It can be okay sometimes, yeah. can't it? But also at the same time, we talked about that relationship being a little bit gnarly and stuff. They're kind of, they're being naughty boys and girls. Supercharged is the brand new album <laughs> as well. What do you want to give people with these albums that you release at this point? We're just, we feel fired up, you know, and the, the songs we're coming up with lately feel fired up and we thought Supercharged was the way to describe the album. Yeah. And uh, we just can't wait to get it out there and 
show everyone what we got. I've really enjoyed um, at your shows across Europe, the, the booty cam. Before our shows, yeah. where we're out in the audience and we tell people, you know, show us your, your booty, we're doing a booty cam. <laughs> <laughs>like back in the, the old days you know kids were jumping up on stage with us and mm. doing stage dives and stuff and you know eventually that, it, things got too big and that yeah. became a, a liability so let's put them on, on camera you know let's have the audience on camera make them part of the Get show them as close as possible so it's still kind of yeah exactly without the lawsuits <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah well that's the thing is we came from playing small clubs and the audience was always a big part of the show and as the shows get bigger that's the challenge is to try to keep them involved to keep them included mm. and this was just one of, another way that we thought of to try to keep that happening please go crazy in the room for heather from palewaves everybody <laughs> welcome to the show thank you for Looking having very me very rock and roll today my oh, thank you i was just drinking lemon and ginger tea <gasps> so not tequila but so rock and roll i know and now we're at this album smitten yep which is fueled with brand new music yep from Pale Waves. Yeah. Maybe let's start with like the overarching feeling of, of Smitten and, and where you were at when, when writing. Smitten to me feels very romantic, very feminine, very queer. Mm. It's kind of like a collection of my experiences with other women. Mm. It's not, usually I write in the present, but for this album, um, I really just went back. And some of the songs are about when I was like 18, 19, and my sexuality and kind of figuring that out and the process of that. And then thinking about you and the video of thinking about you mm. is really cool. We found a field after scouting for days yeah. and it was open. You were, you, you were telling me you went on the hike? Well, to, you, to, to this well I drove and we would oh, get out okay. and then we'd get back in <laughs> and then get out. And this field was open and it was kind of very inviting and it said, there was a little sign that said, you can walk this field. So mm. I was thinking, perfect. And then we're like, a few hours into shooting the um, video and this car just appears and there's nothing around us, like nothing or no one. And instantly I was like, that is sketchy, that's weird, I don't like it. And everyone was saying, carry on, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. And I was like, no, let's just wait for a minute. And then all of a sudden I hear a gunshot and I thought, what? We're in England, this shouldn't be happening. Yeah. And then this car comes zooming over and it's, I guess, the farmer. But he never claimed it as his field. He was just like, you can't do that. You can't be here. You need to leave. He was fuming. Oh, my God. I was like, there's just four of us, though. It, was, I bet your heart was racing. It was. And I was thinking, God, is he going to do out? God. That's... Anyway, we, we got the shot. So I was like, yeah, we'll Oh, go. so you'd finish shooting and you could just get out of there. Yeah, we got yeah, it. It was a one-take wonder. Yeah, so we risked our lives for that video. Wow. Well, I've, I've never watched that video the same way. I'll just I know. know kind of lurking in the corner, there's a man with a rifle <laughs> shooting I know. in the air. Terrifying, honestly. <laughs>